Hey, welcome back to the channel. I was surfing eBay and I noticed that this kit is now $1,300. So I thought I'd show you guys my kit so you can see what's in the box and make a decision on whether or not you want to pay that kind of money for a model kit. This is the 112 scale Ferrari Enzo. It's a big box, like 650 pieces in it, and it's Tamiya quality. So let me show you a few parts of it. Start off with the body front end and all the body parts are separate just like on the 124 scale kit nicely molded the rear clip this thing is big here's the rear clamshell that cover, covers up the engine no low spots just Typical Tamiya quality. There's the front clip. The door. The front uh, luggage area. Spoiler. The other door. Here's the back of the clamshell. You notice there's not a whole lot of pin marks or anything. It'd be super easy to detail that out. Underneath the front luggage area, inside the doors. I thought this was kind of interesting. See, this is the seat back, and um, it's nice and smooth in the back. Nice shape. But what's cool is they include these vinyl seat inserts. Now, I'm not sure how to paint a vinyl piece and make the paint stick to it, but I'll show you in a second what I'm going to do. But look at these pieces. Really, really nice. Almost like a tire. Nicely molded. I'm going to use the red ones. Not sure what color I'm going to paint the body yet, but I will be using the red seats instead of the sort of salmon-y color ones. All of the suspension pieces are glued, not glued, but screwed in together with these uh, nice metal supports. And then the A-arms are white metal. And so everything will be real sturdy and it articulates with springs so that uh, everything will be nice and sturdy. The brakes are two pieces with um, separate rotors and calipers. It'll make it real easy to paint everything and the wheels will turn um, inside of the rotors or inside of the calipers, excuse me. You also see that they pin together. And these are the door mechanism. So there's little springs that hold everything together and there's like a gear set so that it'll be so much more smooth than a 124 scale kit. The front luggage area is also hinged. The gas cap is hinged as well as the rear clamshell, all with a metal hinge. So everything will be real smooth when it opens and closes. The rear spoiler pivots, like I said, the gas cap. The doors articulate. The rear clamshell articulates. I thought this was kind of cool. Good luggage goes in the front end. But uh, like I said, the front end articulates as well. And the wheels have a little lug nut, lug nuts and lug nut wrench. So you can take those off and show off your hard work. I can't just go buy in a kit and not get the detail set too. This is the hobby design detail up set. Let me show you what's in the package. There are 40 tiny rivets in here, 40 of them. No idea what they go to. Better to be fun putting them in. This other little bag has four little tiny pieces. Tiny, tiny, tiny. Can you see them? First sheet, first fret of photo etched is uh, like the heat, heat material that goes on that to keep the engine from uh, heating up the carbon fiber. Couple little pieces. Um, like um, 
manufacturer stamps and whatnot. Those are the, um, for the chassis, the, the streaks that go in the back, the um, rear diffusers, that's what it's called. I don't know if I want to cut those off the chassis and put those photo etch pieces in, kind of risky. Nice mesh for the um, radiators. Whole bunch of little pieces here. I think there's um, the center caps for the wheels, part of the fuel, um, filler cap, seat belt parts, who knows what else is on here. I didn't really look at it that hard. The fans were kind of interesting, photo etched. Um, they, they come plastic separate pieces in the kit, but I think the photo etched ones will look a lot better. So it's a uh, two piece fan and then the fan shroud. Here's all the instructions. Look at all of these instructions. It's like a kit within a kit. There's 40. <laughs> yeah, nice and clear instructions. This is definitely going to be a long-term project. There's those straight, the rear diffuser streaks. Look at those fans, like 15 pieces for each fan. I think the shocks are um, movable, so it makes a new support for them out of photo etched. Lots of bending parts. Gotta love that kind of stuff. Very, very cool. Even the center console with all the buttons on it, those are all photo etched little pieces. nuts absolutely nuts i also picked up this tuner to t2m tuner to model or something like that i can't remember what how you pronounce it but it's sort of a supplemental thing it was like six bucks so um, it has decals for um, to put on things like you know the little warning signs and stuff like that the kit doesn't come out with stuff like this but i thought this would be kind of cool and for six bucks and what's no you already spent so much on the kit already. These little decals will just stick right out and uh, they'll be pretty cool. And even a little photo etch key. Gotta have a key if you're gonna drive it. And I also got the Scale Motorsport interior carbon fiber set. It says interior here. They also make an exterior that you can wrap the whole car in carbon fiber, but I thought I wanted to paint mine. So there are six carbon fiber sheets here, and this is all just for the interior. Six sheets of carbon fiber. Let me show you the backs of them. So this one's for the door. Just it takes like a third of the page just to do one door. the other door. I take that back. It takes almost a whole page to do one door because you have to do the surrounds and the door itself. Here's the seat back. So one sheet of carbon fiber for the seat backs. Nuts. And plenty of extra. I believe these are pieces for the dash which is a pretty much of a focal point in the car. So got to put that in carbon fiber. The, the floor of the interior is all carbon fiber. Won't that be fun? And here's the main floor pieces. So basically half of this carbon fiber sheet is just uh, the floor. $1,300, I wouldn't pay it. But when it first came out, I paid about 300 bucks for it. And um, with the photo etched and the carbon fiber, I probably have another 100, maybe 150. So probably close to $500 in that one model car. 
but it's gonna be quite a model car when it's finished. 12 scale, good size, and uh, amazing detail. So I'm gonna give it a thumbs down on $1,300, but if you find it in someone's collection for 300, I'd, I'd say go buy it. It's worth it. Tommy quality, good stuff. Um, I'll be doing more of these sort of uh, out of the box, is it worth it kind of things. I see a lot of the kits that I have, the, the big scale are going for ridiculous money. So I'll kind of show you guys what's in the box and you can make your own decision of whether you want to buy one or not. See you next time. Bye.